Hello everyone and welcome to our Tech Tuesday Tutorials number 168. Today we share a phenomenal AI powered music generator called SoundDraw. If you know even a tiny bit about copyright, you know that it can be messy and music in particular can be a minefield. We did a brief overview of copyright for educators in a Google slideshow, which I'll link in the description. Now, copyright friendly music is out there, but often the selection is limited and enough content creators draw from that same well that you can start to recognize the same tracks over and over again, like this. Well, what if there was a website that could generate music as you need it with AI? So copyright and royalties were less of an issue. Well, there is. Check out SoundDraw.io. First, I should note that I often highlight only free products, but SoundDraw is just so amazing that I have to highlight it. It does have a free site, yes, but the practical benefit does lie behind a paywall. But I think it's worth every penny. Let's take a look. Oh, and disclaimer, they are not a sponsor they don't even know I exist. SoundDraw is simple enough to use without much instruction, but it does have some features and limits that are worth highlighting. Little things that you may not notice at first glance. From the front page, you can dive in with the Create Music button. Specify the length of the track that you want, and it'll generate a track that begins and ends naturally within that time. Th that's amazing for podcasts and the like. Then uncheck any speeds that you don't want. Finally, select the mood, genre, or theme. It will then generate multiple tracks in just seconds. Now, at the top of the results page, you'll see further customization sliders that allow you to alter the mood, the genre, the theme, the length, the tempo, and even the instruments involved in generating these. Changing these will generate new tracks based on those specifications. Clicking on the video preview button will let you upload a video and preview it with the sample music. Crazy. Each track has a play button over the icon, a list of tags, the beats per minute, and even a graphic of the sound. At the right are buttons to share, create similar music from that track, in other words, create like iterations or children from that song, download, and favorite. Favoriting requires that you create an account, and downloading requires a paid subscription, which we'll talk about in a little bit. So this is why I say that while the site is free, the practical use of it isn't. Most people are going to want to download the songs that they make in order to use them for a project. Click on a generated sample to see the major elements of the song. Below each, you're going to see an energy rating. That's kind of like how, well, energetic that part of the song is. Hovering over the track graphic itself lets you delete or add segments, increasing or decreasing the duration creatively. Clicking on the energy button cycles through their types and regenerates the music in that section. So try it out and you're going to see that the music actually sounds pretty great and the ability to modify and tweak the track is pretty incredible. Here are a couple of the songs that it generated for me. Okay, pretty awesome, right? So let's take a look at the pricing and the license, and you'll see why I think it's worth the money. 
The pricing is simple. They, it's right there on their website. You don't have to contact some salesperson and have them call you and negotiate and everything else. It's there plain and simple. You can bookmark and create unlimited songs for free. This lets you really test it out, lets you save songs for downloading later once you've paid, whatever. For $20 a month, you get to download 50 songs a day. Use them commercially and even in products like games, podcasts, etc. And if you buy annually, you get a discount which averages out to about $17 a month. Now here's the awesome part, the licensing. Once you download a track, it's yours to do mostly as you see fit. The only real thing that you can't do here is sell the track as is. So you can't just like download a bunch of their created songs and then sell an album, for example. It must be part of a greater work or you have to modify it in some way. So putting it into a podcast or a presentation or a YouTube intro or things like that, you can use it for any kind of projects, commercial or otherwise. And it doesn't matter how many views you get, they're never gonna come collecting money. This is a really incredible service with a reasonable monetization method. And I've only really recommended a few products to spend money on in the past, but I have to say, I'm going to add this as another product to the list of recommended paid products. Check it out today. Again, they're not sponsored. They don't know who I am, uh, but check them out. The links as always are in the description. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. And if you did go ahead and click that like button, heck, why not support us and click that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to receive email notifications, leave a comment or an idea for a Tech Tuesday video below, and share this video with your friends. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.